Sergeant Bella just wanted her meal to quell the rumblings in her tummy that fateful afternoon, but then things went wrong when Lena, a waitress at the restaurant, started making fun of her because she was black. Bella entered the restaurant with a growling tummy and proceeded right to the counter to place her order, even though neither she nor Lena knew who was behind them. Because of an early duty shift that morning, she had missed breakfast. So she took advantage of the first chance to eat anything substantial. The crew was on the other side of the lobby, grinning at Bella's phone when she made her way to the counter. Bella rang the bell to ask for assistance from the staff and to place an order. The employees gave her a quick look and gestured for her to wait. Bella decided to wait since she saw no problem with this. The employee, nevertheless, kept grinning at her phone as if she was preoccupied with a video call or a social media prank. Bella was irate that the staff was concentrating more on her phone than on serving her, and she was agitated by the wait and the need to eat. The staff signaled for her to wait after she rang the bell once more, but Bella rang it again while wearing a noticeable frown. Bella was contacted by the staff member who reluctantly put down her phone and asked her to place her order. She continued as if Bella were not entitled to an answer, failing to offer an apology or an explanation for her decision to keep Bella waiting, telling Bella to choose. She slid the menu across the counter. Bella addressed the young lady as Lena after noticing that her name badge said that. Bella chose not to raise any eyebrows despite Lena's inappropriate behavior, choosing instead to make her order straightforward and satisfy her appetite, taking a notepad. Lena put Bella's order on the counter, then, Lena assured Bella that everything would be operational shortly and asked her to wait while they fixed a few issues. Bella peered at her suspiciously, asking what exactly needed to be fixed but Lena would not elaborate, only saying Bella would have to wait a little while longer, it would only take a few minutes, the staff assured her, so Bella chose to keep silent and watch, she felt that something was wrong with the restaurant, but she was unable to identify what, she was upset that her lunch was being interfered with, but she controlled herself, Bella was waiting for her order at the counter, and when Lena got back on her phone and started doing what she had been doing, she was laughing out at a comedic skit instead of grinning. Lena did not appear to give up on her phone even after several minutes had elapsed, just when Bella turned to draw attention once more. A young Caucasian man walked up to the counter and pressed the bell. Lena hung up the phone right away and came running to get his order. After making a note of it in her pad, she vanished into the back room to fetch his dinner. As he paid, she gave it to him, neatly packing it and wishing him a happy day. Bella was taken aback, Lena had attended to the young man right away, leaving her unannounced waiting at the counter. Bella didn't understand why the man was served first because she had arrived earlier, it was now obvious that Lena had made up the story that she needed to fix things in order to keep Bella waiting, Bella tried to control her wrath and rang the bell once again to call Lena back, Lena's face turned annoyed as she saw Bella was still alive, she tried to ignore Bella but she kept ringing the bell non-stop until Lena was obliged to go back. Bella then inquired of Lena why she was neglecting her and turning down her order. She told Lena she had been waiting about 30 minutes and had been totally overlooked as she saw someone else get serviced right in front of her. Lena had served someone else before Bella and shouted at her, wanting to know why she was challenging this. Why cannot you merely be patient, Lena bit, coming in here and attempting to order me around? Who do you think you are? You and I both know you cannot afford dining here, for your kind, it is overly costly, go to a restaurant more reasonably priced for black people, a black person cannot eat here, Bella felt shocked right from her core, Lena saying such a horrible thing astounded her, now Lena's serving the white man first made sense, Bella's race had led to this, was was being denied service only because was black, having such obvious racism in this day and age was shocking, Bella shook her head regretfully. Knowing society still had a long road ahead, Bella had devoted her life to defending her country as a soldier, risking injury to guard people like Lena. She deserved nothing like such terrible hate, especially since her early years. This was the first she had come seen such overt bigotry. Her family's status as warriors guaranteed that troublemakers stayed away. Therefore growing up she had never experienced bullying based on her skin color. Her two brothers were all military men. Her father was a highly decorated one. Her family was so strong in their area, hence others avoided starting problems. Bella discovered a similar setting in which race was not a prominent concern when she joined the army. Racial differences were subordinated to the friendship and common values among soldiers. Though one of the most horrific periods of her life, her time serving in Afghanistan had made her stronger. It had sharpened her, getting her ready for anything. 
she returned from Afghanistan and was assigned to help a high-ranking army official for a few months before returning to active service. She took the job since it would improve her military career and significantly raise her resume. Nonetheless, Bella's employer, an army official, had a very demanding job right in the middle of town. He was notorious among the troops for his demanding standards, which he used to motivate his subordinates to work relentlessly because of the early starts. Long hours and lack of sleep, many soldiers attempted to avoid this job. Nothing changed that afternoon. Halfway across the city, a superior officer needed certain paperwork, and Bella had to get it to him. Having gotten out of the house so early, she neglected to eat breakfast. She had been out for an errand and was nearly starving when she got back. Despite her hunger, her boss would not allow her to take a break for food and instead insisted that she wait until her lunch break. So she had to face the hunger herself, in spite of Bella's best intentions. Lena's actions marred her dining experience the moment she stepped foot in the restaurant. Bella found it difficult to maintain her cool in the face of Lena's relentless taunts. Keeping her cool was crucial to avoiding any escalation, particularly considering her training as a military. She was well aware that Lena was acting inappropriately. Just in case things escalated, Bella made the decision to depart. Another restaurant in the area that she was familiar with would be perfect for her lunch. But just as she was about to depart, Lena stepped around the counter to obstruct her way. Where do you think you're going? Huh? Bella was stopped from leaving when Lena barked. Lena was certain that Bella couldn't simply depart the restaurant without expressing regret for even visiting. After Bella broke her commitment to never go back, she insisted that she warn other black people not to eat there either. Lena slammed Bella back, sending her tumbling hard against the counter. As Bella remained mute and tried to walk around her, Bella panicked at this time. Who do you think you are to treat me this way? She yelled out. She reminded Lena that she, too, had been a soldier who put her life on the line to protect civilians like Lena from racial injustice and confronted Lena about it. Such animosity from Lena toward her was intolerable. If Lena persisted, Bella cautioned her, she would come to regret it. Lena let out a boisterous chuckle in response. Challenging Bella to pull an all-out attack, she assured Bella that the restaurant manager would always stand by her side. No matter the consequences of her conduct, it was Lena's word versus Bella's, she claimed, and she was sure they would support her no matter what a black woman said. Lena was so enraged that a black soldier had the gall to contradict her that she felt justified in treating Bella with such contempt because of her position as a lowly waitress. Lena blocked Bella's way again as she attempted to exit the restaurant. This time, though, she also snatched a glass of wine from a nearby table and hurled it at Bella's face. Lena laughed uncontrollably at Bella's anguish when she fumbled for a tissue in her purse, and Bella let out a scream of astonishment as the wine burned her eyes. Now, let's make fun of you, Lena added with a hint of mischief, in her rush to depart. Bella glanced over at her one final time before colliding head-on with the man who had blocked her path. The man stumbled backwards, and the phone he had in his hand fell out of his hand. In the blink of an eye, Bella snatched the phone from Madeira and, as she returned it, realized the camera had been activated. The man said his name was Floyd and went on to say that he had been taping the whole dispute. He denounced the eatery for enabling Lena's mistreatment, which he had observed firsthand. Floyd stated his intention to release the video online in order to expose Lena and emphasized the urgency of taking action to resolve the matter. After giving this some thought, Bella looked at Lena and sadly shook her head. She informed Floyd that she wasn't prepared for the video to go viral and that he didn't have to post it. All she wanted was to get through her shift and get back to working. Lena, on the other hand, disregarded Floyd's motivations and encouraged him to publish the piece. She made it clear that she didn't give a damn and that the restaurant would stand with her no matter what happened. Lena mocked, you're not even worth a meager 10 likes, it will be a joke that you post, you're nothing when you look at yourself, you must have a pitiful amount of followers, people who are utterly incompetent would never bother to follow you. Lena was unaware of how severely she had misjudged Floyd, he was a social media influencer with millions of followers. Not just any old customer, his posts emphasized exploring new locations, evaluating eateries, giving them high marks for food and service, and urging his followers to give them a try. He was excited to review the restaurant that day because he had heard nothing but positive things about it. However, his appetite was destroyed when he witnessed Lena making fun of Bella, so he chose to stay. 
the restaurant's policies needed to be reviewed because it was unacceptable for a staff member to treat a customer in this manner, Floyd made the decision to videotape the entire episode while Lena persisted in harassing Bella. Floyd shared the footage on his social media accounts later that night. He described in the caption how Lena made fun of and ridiculed Bella for being black when she was only attempting to have lunch. Bella is a soldier. It was hardly surprising that the video went viral almost immediately given its millions of followers. The video soon gained popularity on social media when a large number of people saw and shared it. A plethora of angry comments were sent in response to the film, many of which related their own experiences of discrimination at the eatery. The victims of racial discrimination related stories of being harassed by the employees and expressed their annoyance at being kept silent by the restaurant's intimidating strategies. When victims attempted to go to court, they said the restaurant bought off judges so they would keep delaying their cases until they gave up. The fact that someone had finally spoken out against the eatery brought relief to the public. The restaurant's stock value quickly fell as investors scrambled to remove their money in an attempt to separate themselves from the issue. The board of directors found it difficult to keep things stable in spite of their best attempts to handle the issue. People of color who were highly offended that their money had been used to fund such injustices were among the investors. The eatery was confronted with a difficult-to-repair reputation in addition to a precipitous drop in funding and share values. The rate at which the restaurant was losing patrons was concerning. Their consumer base had drastically decreased within a day of Floyd's video being viral, and the pattern continued as fewer and fewer people visited them every day. The restaurant felt they could no longer continue operating as they were when faced with this terrible predicament, instead of closing. They made the desperate decision to try one more time to save their image and win back their diminishing clientele. Leading media from the city were gathered by the board for a press conference. They announced that Lena had been fired, apologized a lot, and pledged to do all in their power to win back the public's trust at the conference. Their efforts were greeted with suspicion, nevertheless. Their attempts at damage control were exposed by everyone. And the apology was seen as coming too little, too late, their business kept suffering, and the damage to their reputation had already been done. Eventually the restaurant was compelled to close and file for bankruptcy. Many said Bella's calmness and handling of Lena's verbal and physical assaults would have been much appreciated. Many would not have stayed as patient as she did. Bella and Floyd were invited to take part in an interview following the occurrence which they related the horrific event. The interview was favorable and confirmed Bella's remarkable situational handling. Bella considered her thankfulness for making the ordeal a teaching tool. Their narrative underlined a crucial lesson. Discrimination based on ethnicity or skin tone is obviously unfair. Bella and Floyd stressed that each person has equal rights and should be treated with dignity and respect. Their message connected strongly and started discussions on equality and tolerance among many different groups. After watching the story above, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel. That all about today's stories. See you next time.